program for legal empowerment and aid delivery in Kenya, also known as PLEAD, is a partnership between the Government of Kenya, civil society, the European Union and the United Nations. UNODC is a very proud partner of PLEAD. We work with key criminal justice institutions such as the Judiciary, the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions, the Probation and Aftercare Service, the Witness Protection Agency, as well as the National Council on the Administration of Justice. Our goal is to strengthen the administration of justice, strengthen legal aid and empowerment, and promote alternatives to imprisonment. We are committed to reducing prison populations, particularly in remand centers, by 30% by the end of the program. COVID has obviously proved to all of us a number of challenges on the economic front, but also on the continuity of business operations. But I do think amidst these challenges, there are also opportunities. So we've placed all this around the ODPP for people to wash and also to ensure that we're preventing or helping to prevent uh, the COVID virus. A lot of measures are put in place by the government. The ODPP itself is observing keeping social distance. We are using um, applications, digital applications to communicate and be able to do our work so that we are able to serve Kenyans better. We are happy to see the integrated approach that the PLEAD program has taken and we can now see very positive results from these efforts. Close to 120 criminal justice actors including magistrates, po police, prosecutors, probation officers and prison officers have been equipped with skills and knowledge to effectively administer bail and bond. The Office of the Director of Prosecution has brought a multiple, uh, multiple actors in the criminal justice chain to the table and with them cross-disciplinary thinking. UNODC has been privileged to be part of this collaboration alongside the European Union with specific focus on diversion and plea bargaining. This is through the Program for Legal Empowerment and Aid Delivery in Kenya, or PLEAD, which is funded by the European Union. We are very proud that we were able to work with the National Police Service under the umbrella of the NCAJ to develop the first ever uh, e-learning program. And by the end of the year, over 6,000 police officers participated and completed this uh, program. I would like to thank the, the, the United Nations Office on Drug and Crime for their continued support. to be part of this uh, great event where UNODC with the EU support has provided a few uh, vehicles and other equipment to the WPA, the Witness Protection Agency, so that they can be able to do their work well and protect the witnesses that are very key to the criminal trial process. As Witness Protection, we operate in a very rough terrain and for us to have received these three vehicles, it will ease our work in terms of transporting our witnesses to court, in terms of uh, moving our witnesses from the danger areas to the safe areas. And for, at the end of it all, we'll have it easy for us to help these victims and the witnesses to access justice. In addition, we have also received some safes, uh, which we are going to use. And as you know, we operate also covertly, and our equipment and data is very, very critical in our system. We have to make sure that our data is well secured and uh, well stored. Uh, we have also received some recorders, and you know, this is a justice system where everything is, uh, relies on evidence. 
So the recorders will help us to record uh, the statements of the witnesses for posterity. The theme of this art competition is probation a new beginning. We deemed it appropriate because it resonates with probation as an opportunity for the children to live in the community, attend school, and be raised within their families. And therefore these narratives through the art competition and art exhibition will help us see the justice system through their eyes and their experiences. I wish to take this opportunity to thank Ambassador Modu and his team and the UNODC. This is a fantastic effort. I must appreciate again we undertook this during COVID-19 but this did not hamper your effort or deter the success of this program. That means all the teams that worked on this worked super hard to make this happen. Let's all give them a huge round of applause. Thank you very much, team. We are together helping you to make a difference, and you are on the driving seat.